Towards the end of the 5th century, relations with neighbours took a dramatic turn and the city was conquered by the indigenous Italic people who had continued to live in the mountainous interior of Italy, away from the Greek cities along the coast. The details are not known, but the later Greek historian Strabo records that the people of Posidonia were defeated in battle and that the Lucanians occupied their city. No doubt the battle was traumatic, but the subsequent history of the city shows no evidence for destruction and disruption. According to the Greeks, the Lucanians were barbarians, speaking a different language, Oscan, with distinctive customs and battle dress. Their burial customs emphasised the role of the warrior, with representations of fine horses and armour. Yet they were also profoundly influenced by Greek culture and customs. The scenes featuring parts of the funeral rituals are firmly in the Greek tradition. The dueling warriors echo the episode of Ias and Diomedes in combat at the games following the funeral of Patroclus in Book 23 of Homer's Iliad. The heroic role models in Homer exerted a powerful force in the selection of images for the Lucanians' tombs. Chariot races, part of the funeral games, frame the figure of the hero, whose homecoming is represented by the wagon returning with his possessions and prizes. Funeral ceremonies also elaborated Greek models, with the laying out of the corpse dressed in all the finery reflecting wealth and status in life. Lucanian beliefs about the underworld and afterlife also follow Greek models, indicating that the Lucanians were profoundly Hellenized, regardless of the Greek conception of them as barbarians. In the city of Posidonia, there is a similar impression of continuity. The temples continued in use, as did the political structures of the Greek city. In the beginning of the 3rd century BCE, the Lucanians came up against the expanding Roman Republic and their territory was subjugated by Lucius Cornelius Scipio Barbatus. They later sided with King Pyrrhus of Epirus against the Romans and were finally defeated by 275 BCE. The fate of Posidonia is not known, but two years later, in 273, the Roman state sent citizens to the city to re-found it as a new city, the colony of Paestum. 